Icebreaker. Break the ice. Okay, so um, let me talk about our icebreaker. It's going to be fun, but there's some steps involved, and it's on Soundtrap, which is a tool we're going to be using for the rest of the foreseeable whatever because it's awesome. Okay, so um, here's what you do. You're going to welcome to the assignments page in Canvas, by the way. Isn't it nice? If there's like words and letters and numbers and <laughs> smells like tacos in here. Um, so click link number one. What that's going to do is that's going to allow you to create a Soundtrap account. So I don't have that on my thing. I'm just going to like manually do it. I'm on my iPad. Um, isn't it nice? How was your summer? Mine was pretty good. Okay, so this is the link. Come on, Link. Okay, it's going to ask you um, if you're a new user or an existing user. It, you're just a new user. Okay, so click a new user, and then it's going to have you um, sign up with Google or sign up with Office 365. Sign up with your email, and then type in your email. My email. Hmm, what email should I use? <laughs> I think I'm going to use my email address from like, this is old, Captain Howdy 482. This is how old it is, at hotmail.com. Yes, hotmail.com. My password, sure, I'm going to let it make a password for me. Fine. My name is Borb, uh, or Born. It's Born, sure. Born. Bjorn, born Bjorn, cool. Now I'm gonna sign up, click sign up. Awesome. It's thinking, thinking, let it think. Now, born Bjorn is person, which is cool. Um, next step is you need to download the Soundtrap app that is going to be in self-service. Shush, all right, so download the app. So now this is what the app looks like. Uh, the app is right here. All right, so I'm logged in. I'm gonna log. I'm gonna log. I'm logged in as my wife. Oh my god, here. I have to log in as weird me from like junior high. Okay, log in with your email, and you're just going to type in exactly what you did before. Captain Howdy four eight two at hotmail dot com. Okay, password, I don't know, it was from my app, the, the computer remembered it. Okay, cool. Login. Now we're good. This is good. Step two. So um, you've logged in to the Soundtrap app. Let's go to step three. Step three is you are going to click on the link. I have the link here. Nice handy link. Nope, that's not the link. Is that the link? I think that's the link. Link is in my notes. Okay. Click on the link. Why is that opening up there? That's weird. Um, what that's going to do is it is going to open this song that we can work on together. Work on this song together. The bummer is, ooh, whew, cool. Guitar Studio Icebreaker. Let's get started. All right, so now you are a collaborator on this project with me. We're on the same project together, which is really cool. This is what the project looks like on my computer. It's bigger than an iPad iPad, computer, iPad, computer, me, I, I don't know. Okay, so this is having you edit it in not the app, and not the app sucks, so go to the app. It's going to show up, maybe, Bjorn Bjornson. Hey, Guitar Studio Icebreaker. So now click it, open in studio. Okay, so the concept is we're working on this song together. I want to make something cool together as a class, as our, um, our icebreaker. So um, I have a little drum groove recorded here. Oh, oh, ah, oh. Cool. Okay, so the drum groove there. Um, and everyone is going to add a track. So click on Add a Track. And then you have the option to, you know, add these different types of tracks. Voice and microphone. There's like a voice and a microphone. And you can use just like a regular headset microphone plugged into your iPad. Use headphones. And then you could just use your iPad uh, microphone. Either of those things would be cool. Or you can use any of these other um, instruments. Um, 
Let's do it on the iPad, because that's what you're going to be doing it on. Get rid of this collaboration button by just clicking on that. All right, so I want to add in a voice and microphone. Okay. You have to make sure that it is, um, like, armed. Press the R to make it armed. Always say that you're not using headphones, even if you are using headphones. Uh, let's get the sound working. That's a good idea. Hello, hello, hello. Next. Sounds great. Hello, hello. Sing louder. I'm singing loud. Okay. That was weird. Cool. So now I can record in. Um, what I, so I have this drum groove. I'm going to record myself, uh, and I want you to record something. It doesn't have to be a mic. It could be an instrument, but we're going to make a song together. Um, and you have to name your track. It's important. you got to name your track because this is like our icebreaker. We're getting to know each other. So click on the little cog thing, rename, name it. What was my name? Bjorn, 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 Bjorn. And this is where you name it with your name. And then you're going to add to the track by pressing record, listening to the drum beat, and then you can add to the track. So I'm going to go to my computer, and I'm going to add to the track. Ooh, Bjorn Bjorn's here now. Cool. So I'm going to add in a um, voice and microphone. Change this to dry. It just sounds better when it's in the dry one. Okay. And um, I'm going to just record my name. I am a not using headphones, even though I'm using headphones. Here we go. Habersat. 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 My name's Mr. Habersat. Okay. Um, so now that's there. Make sure to save. Once you save, then oh, look over here said that Bob Habersett had made changes to this project. That is really cool. And then what you can do is if you click on the collaboration feature, you can press sync and oh, delete it. It will show you what I just put in there, which is so cool. Um, so now that we have that done, um, if you run into any troubles where your iPad is like, uh-uh, I just can't handle, I can't handle it. This isn't the iPad, it's a computer. If your iPad's like, uh-uh, I can't handle it, um, you can freeze a track. Let's say there's a bunch of people's uh, names in here. You can freeze a track. You freeze a track by highlighting the cog and then click freeze a track. And what it's going to do is it's going to turn that track off so the computer, your iPad doesn't have to like process it. So if you're going through this whole thing and then if your iPad's like not enough RAM or CPU usage too high, you can just freeze the track and, and it'll, all, it'll all be good. Oh, I didn't do the most important thing ever got to rename this. Habersat. That's my name. Boop. And even if you just rename something, you have to save it. And now, oh, Bob Habersat had made changes to project. Collaborate, sync, boosh. We can also talk in here, which is pretty cool. And you can poke people. Don't hurt them. Um, so all you need to do Follow all those things. It's also setting up Soundtrap because we're going to play a lot of music into Soundtrap together. Um, but you're setting all that up, and then you're just recording something. It could be a drum. You can go boom, boom, boom. It could be a guitar using a Soundtrap. It could be your own guitar. Let's keep it to the key of C. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be cool. Peace. <laughs>